Hey everybody on YouTube, this is Johnny Great. This is my new new intro music. I figured I'd give you guys a little taste of what I'm planning on using. This is music is what I'm able to title Hero. Now, if you want not to be on the music that will be the leaving translation support to them, that makes for the intro idea. Anyways, I figured I'd try and do Bermuda again. Pretty much figured give it another shot and then the first recording did not go as I planned on. So, as I said, I'm not superhuman, I can't do this correctly. So I figured I'd try it again. Chapter one. And this time I'm going to go further into the thing. And this time it'll like a goal for me here. At least three likes. Just three likes. I'm gonna try some of these actual thought out. Just see if you guys can even hit three likes. If you can hit three likes, I'll continue. If not, I'll just I'll just keep on, on, on repeating chapter one and going further until finally I've finished it. Till then, let's just be it in the show, shall we? Now, for those of you who are wondering, I have been in very much trying to figure out how to do this. Hey everybody on YouTube, this is Johnny Great. This is my new new intro music. I figured I'd give you guys a little taste of what I plan on using. This music is what I'm able to title Hero. Now, if you want not to be an honor, you can double DC leaving the translation support to them. That makes for the intro idea. Anyways, I figured I'd try and do Bermuda again. Pretty much figured give it another shot since the first recording did not go as planned on. So, as I said, I'm not superhuman, I can't do this correctly, so I figured I'd try it again, chapter one, and this time I'm going to go further into the thing. And this time it'll look like a goal for me here, at least three likes, just three likes. I'm going to try some of these actual thought out, just see if you guys can even hit three likes. If you can hit three likes, I'll continue. Now you guys can see me. OBS Studio. Being in my rear, ain't it? Now, most of you people know me. I don't usually do the intro. I went to Act 1 and stopped at Act 2 for the video. I did not even get to go further on this, so... Let's start back at the intro yet again. I'm going to do a retry at least on this. Hey, can you hear that? Yeah, probably just a ship or something. No ship I knew of made a noise that weird. Then again, it was also weird for Joe to be calling me out so suddenly. Let's not stray too far out. Paul will wonder where we went. It's fine. I want some time alone. Oh? If you need to relieve yourself, there's actually a bathroom back there. This is where I felt as if I was, um... <sighs> A douche nozzle because I'm apparently Edward. Ugh, so insensitive. Yeah, apparently insensitive. Hmm? Well, you said something? Never mind. An ignorant. Hey, I was just playing around. You know I'm worried about you. Ugh, okay. Listen, Eddie, I. There's that noise again. Sounds like it's getting closer. Jo opened her mouth to speak, but the noise blared once more and drowned out her words. Uh -huh. A light beam shot out from under the sea. I'm just gonna keep one Guess that was what made the noise. Hear myself too. Not that it made things any less confusing. All I knew was that Jo was far too close to that beam. Wow. I could have sworn I saw them come this way. Joanna? Eddie? What the hell? <laughs> Welcome to the party of what the heck?
in this game from you Preparations complete. Ready to begin experiment. Mm -hmm. Oh, are we e ready in a few more technical difficulties now. Let's see. Boop! And I know had to change the scenery. Now where was it? Oh yeah, prepare to go uh, yeah 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 whatever. Understood. Conduct operation thirty two on male specimen A. Am I male specimen A? Remember to perform procedures D through G. Be sure to leave no traces behind. Mm -hmm. Acknowledged. Commencing Operation 32. I don't want to know what's going on. I forget about this part until now. I rem. <laughs> now I found myself standing next to Paul, surrounded by aliens. Ones in blue armor and robes. They donned helmets that resembled water tanks, making their faces hard to discern. All the ceiling lights emitted a blue glow, making even the interior resemble the sea. The place smelled like the ocean, too. Joe stood before me, trapped in some sort of chamber. Surrounding her were aliens operating on control panels. What are you bastards doing to Joanna? Get your scrubby hands off my girl! Paul always managed to speak his mind no matter how dire a situation seemed. I only feared the aliens might make an example out of him. I wonder, that was the, is the enter button, what about space? Nope, enter again. You humans are always so noisy. We're sending you three it. home. Keep quiet before we change our minds. You kidnapped us, and we're expected to just sit and obey you? That's just wrong. Be grateful we gave you all translation devices. Without them, you'd have no clue what's going on. Actually, I would argue that I still had no clue what was happening. Paul did all the talking on my behalf. If I chimed in with more shouting, the aliens might kill us on the spot. Bingo. Joe slapped her hands against the glass. She tried speaking to us, but the chamber blocked out her words. Beam fully charged. Prepared to send specimen home on command. Acknowledged. Fire when ready. Fire when ready. Are we shooting a bullet? In a flash, Joe vanished from the chamber. I half expected her to return after another flash, as if we were watching a magic trick. But that never happened. What did you freaks do to Joanna? Mm -hmm. Wow, lag on the voice. The females returned there home. You two are about to join her. Once you're back on the surface, you'll forget all that's happened here. Settle down and let us do our job. With Joe gone, I shifted my eyes to the portholes on the wall. Water filled the space outside, with fish swimming by on occasions. We must be inside some form of alien submarine. If the aliens were indeed sending us home, there was nothing else I would have wished for more. I only prayed they were telling the truth. Uh-oh. What's the matter? The beam's refusing to charge. Looks like the device has malfunctioned. Oh my. Let me see that. That's impossible. The beam's never failed us in all these years. Hmm. No one does maintenance, apparently. Wow. 
Apparently humanity is more advanced than an alien. No offense to any aliens to watch this. A bunch of liars, all of you. I'll bet you're plotting some other plan for us. What now? That human is acting rowdy and we have no way of sending him back. We might have to silence them both. Those words may even Paul fall quiet. I should have known things would never turn out smoothly. It had been a while since I last spoke. Perhaps I should say something. But one wrong word and we were goners. Yes. It's too risky to keep these two on our ship. I agree. We should act without delay. Uh, I don't wanna die. That's an- That's not Everyone, cool. including the aliens, froze upon hearing this unfamiliar voice. Hold on, let me back this up again. That's enough. Oh, there we go. Everyone, including the aliens, froze upon hearing this unfamiliar voice. Be at peace, all of you. We summon these guests to better understand the surface world. It's our duty to ensure they return home unharmed. C commander Finyomu. Of course, as you will. That alien just called this girl Commander. She must have been no older than five or six. In fact, I never even noticed her until she spoke. This little kid is your commander? Huh, <laughs> Eddie, guess we got nothing to worry about. There's no way I'll let clowns like them threaten me. Oh boy. Paul marched toward the girl, who looked him in the eye I and appeared unfazed. None of the aliens stepped in Paul's way. Paul was well over six feet tall. Perhaps even these aliens were intimidated. No, they just don't uh, 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 want to piss up off. One more step, and your head goes flying. I still remember this part, but the rest I haven't seen yet. A woman appeared before Paul. She showed up so swiftly that even he was caught off guard. There was a blade of some sort in her hand. With the sword pressed against Paul's neck, he had no choice but to retreat a step. No dear. Also, I really think that Star Wars copyrighted because of lightsaber. Seriously, even if it is called a sword of light, it's still a lightsaber. No one harms the commander under my watch. Know your place, game, surfacers. You're on our ship. I'll be more than happy to send you both out into the sea. Did I forget to mention I can't swim? Or at least I don't think I can swim in this double thing. Got water on the game. There's no need for threats, Mukon. As you desire, Commander. Mukon sheathed her blade upon hearing Finyomu's order. It looked like this woman obeyed the commander like the rest of them. Let us conduct a meeting to discuss what actions we must take. Until then, the two humans shall remain on board as guests. Funny how we could be abducted and then be referred to as guests. Paul made no further advances against the aliens. He cast a glare at Mukon, who paid him no attention. At least our lives were spared for now. As for how long things would stay this way, only time would tell. Yes, only time would tell. Hmm. Jeez. Sounds um, um, like a fucking symmetric uh, uh, soap opera. Oh, finally, Act 1. Now, I stopped at, uh, 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 pretty much, uh, sh point of uh, the intro to Act 1. Now I'm going to go from a a intro Act 1 to Act 2 on this. Should I go in this one? Hmm, wonder what her talk is. Alright, yeah, I'm going to just try out these conversations. Joanna and I used to visit the same beach every year. Do you remember what's so special about this year, Eddie? You're turning 21. Come on, as if I'd forget. I was referring to a different anniversary. It's been 15 years since we've met. Never mind. Your birthday's coming soon, so it's a bit early, but I bought you something. Oh, thanks. Here, it's a cross necklace. I hope God will always watch over you. Eddie, how thoughtful. I'll definitely cherish it. Mm hmm. Apparently, I'm blind to love. And Joe, there's something else I want to tell you. 
Oh? You know that restaurant we always go to on Friday nights? It closed the other day. That's really sad. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, definitely ain't going to love. Okay, let's try this guy out. With Joanna gone, I guess it's just you and I now. Seems that way. Thinking back, it's pretty weird how we became friends in the first place. We're as different as they come. It's all in God's will. Well, that, and we did work in the same place. To be honest, first time we met, I thought you were pretty wimpy. But somehow, you always bring peace to those around you. I might even be a little envious, to tell you the truth. Thanks, Paul. We do make an interesting team, to say the least. I'm sure we can get out of this alive. We'd better. If you die on me, I'm gonna kill you. How are you gonna kill me if Buddy, I die? Buddy, have a think about what you just said. Yeah, if I'm dead already, how are you gonna kill me again? Bring me back from the dead and then kill me again? Kinda anticlimactic. <laughs> During a stroll, I walked past Finyomu and decided to say hello. Finyomu, however, never even turned around, let alone responded. I snuck closer and saw she was glued to the television. Looked like she was watching a cartoon of some sort. The characters were unfamiliar to me. Maybe it was from Finyomu's home planet. Once in a while, Finyomu would look around to check if anyone was watching. I took cover behind a wall. This hobby of hers must have been a secret. Finyomu wanted to maintain her captain image, but I guess she was still a child after all. I moved on, leaving Finyomu to her pastime. Mm -hmm. What about you, mister? Wants to get me and throw me off the wi uh, freaking ship. Make me into freaking fish bait. Walking past the dining room, I noticed a book sitting on the table. Maybe someone left this here by mistake. I might just give the book a quick flip through. Looked like it was a novel written in the alien's home language. No chance of me reading it then. The cover showed a male and female alien kissing one another. Love hearts dotted the pink background behind them. What a stereotypical romance novel cover. Footsteps sounded behind me. I quickly put the novel down. After all, nobody gave me permission to read the book. Human. What? D did you pick up that book? I... Uh, yeah. Sorry. I did. Was it yours? Yes, I mean no. As if I'd read a book like that. Quite rude of you to look at my other people's belongings. Well, I... They never should have left it around, I guess, but still... Guess it was Mukan's book. <laughs> now, what about this one? Why did I have an alien in the conversation? Bored out of my mind, I decided to explore the ship. A couple of aliens I walked past were staring at a porthole. Oh, hello there, human. Hmm. Good day. Got to say, I'm pretty surprised you guys called out to me. Yes, well, not all of us hate you to the bone. Glad to hear it. You guys are pretty focused on that window there. What's up? We've been hearing rumors of mermaid sightings. Mermaid sightings? You kind of believe in mermaids too? Mm. Oh, guess you humans have heard about it as well. More just in movies and stuff. I guess there are people out there who believe it though. Anyway, if mermaids really do exist, surely you would have seen them by now. You guys pretty much live in the ocean. Us? Nah, I'm just a part-timer, actually. And I'm an intern, looking for a stable job in engineering after this. Oh. Mm, my mistake. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I've got to remember to uh, try these out every time I do this. I'm just gonna have to replay the conversations every time. <laughs> the aliens escorted oh, Paul and I to a bunk bed and left us there. It was as if they expected us to just sit still and await their decision. Mm. I found myself shivering under the ship's cool temperature. Perhaps that was the way those aliens liked it, but certainly not I. More like I didn't like it. Jeez, Even the walls felt freezing to touch. Paul seemed unaffected like by this. Nazi. In all fairness, he was one of the sturdiest guys I knew. Those aliens are discussing our fate as we speak, Eddie. We need to find out what they're talking about. Are you saying we should eavesdrop? They're already on edge about us. Besides, we have no idea where their meeting room is. It's on the top floor. I scouted out the place while they were taking us down here. You never fail to surprise me. Being in jail can teach you a lot. Well, I guess they never did say we must stay on this bunk bed. Now you're talking. I've noted where the security cameras are as well. We just need to be careful. Besides, if anything happens, that Finyomu brat will cover our ass. Mm -hmm. She's risking a lot to keep us safe. It seems nasty to be using her like that. That strike one against Paul. You're being too kind. Finyomu's a child. Strike her mind's two. unstable. A few more aliens whisper in her ear and she'll have a change of heart. There's no justice in what these aliens did to us. Strike we three. have the right to do He's what we must. Oh, I felt book. uncertain about Paul's lack of faith but we should indeed discover more about this meeting. Most of the aliens were participating in the discussion, so security should be thin. Exchanging nods with Paul, we made our move. I prayed the meeting results would bring us hope and not despair. Yeah, let's just hope we'll find out. Oh, oh dear God, that's the thing is that we the gun. Again, shouldn't be hard. Just gotta make sure to blah, are we? Now, if memory is correctly, they always turn the lights back on. And the ones that go to the bathroom, you gotta be careful for, about.
I'm just... Oopsie. I want to get your butt in your butt. Oh, okay. Paul and I arrived outside the meeting room. After checking to make sure the coast was clear, we pressed our ears against the door. As I've said, it's our job to ensure these surfacers return home safe. The heck is a surfacer? Am I a surfacer? With all due respect, Commander, this is about more than any of us. Watch your tone around Commander Finyomu. It's fine, Mukon. We all deserve a say in this matter. Mm -hmm. By all, I guess she means everyone but us. I put up a finger, signaling Paul to keep his voice down. If the aliens detected our presence, who knew what the consequence would be? If these humans escape and tell the surface world about us, our entire civilization will be at risk. Yes, and then there's that girl we sent off. Our charge beam failed right afterward. There's no way to tell if her memories were even erased properly. For all we know, she might be on the surface now, telling everyone up there about us. I'll assign one of you to scan the surface and locate the girl. Once she's found, monitor her full time and check for suspicious activities. I was more concerned about whether that beam actually managed to send Joe home. Maybe the beam broke down when she was still in the ocean. This warrants a discussion with our people back home. Rest easy. Your concerns will be passed on. For now, let us vote on how this situation should be handled. The two humans should be purged. We've had to kill on this ship in the past. This will be no different. Mm -hmm. I agree. For our people's sake, the surfacers must be sacrificed. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Commander Finyomu has a point. It's unfair for us to kill the humans with hardly a thought. Phew. Milkon, let us hear your opinion. I beg your forgiveness, Commander Finyomu, but I must choose to pass on the matter. Hmm. Very well. Let us continue. Our entire race is at risk here. Losing two surfacers is a small matter by comparison. We can send the humans into the sea, let them decide their own fate. Paul gestured me to leave. I trailed him as he headed back for the elevator. It's obvious most of those bastards want us dead. I doubt that Finyomu kid can keep them in check for long. Then there's Joanna. We need to find out if she's okay. I'm no man if I'm unable to keep my woman safe. The aliens did talk about spying on Joe. That must mean there's a way of doing so from the ship. We just need to find out how. The aliens spoke about their people being at risk. I guess they had a home planet somewhere in space. But then surely we should be on a spaceship and not a submarine. Mm. No, none of that mattered now. Our priority should be checking if Joe was okay. God help us. Mm. Up here. 
comes to Act 2, people. As I said, I was going to go on to Act 2, and I'll end once it says Act 3 is about to be up. Ooh, time for bonus conversations. Yay! Joanna and I used to visit the same beach every year. It's pretty sad to see our church close down. Sure is. So many memories there. That's where we met for the first time. Oh, you remember? Of course I do. You were always playing in the gardens outside by yourself. That's why I wanted to try and talk to you. You've been such a flirt since a kid, Eddie. Come on, we were like seven. <laughs> I'm just teasing. But I'm really happy to hear you remember. Well, mm, now what's this knucklehead gonna say? Those damn aliens trapping us here like this. It's just wrong, I tell you. Yes, Paul, you've told me. Many times. They should really look up my background. One time when I was in jail, I took on eight guys by myself. Good thing for them. A guard convinced me to stop. That's the first time I've heard that story. How did the guard stop you? He offered me chocolate. <laughs> what? Chocolate? Hey, not all prisoners have to be drug addicts. I have standards. Right, chocolate. That's some serious standards. <laughs> okay, that is funny. I want to die. Nope, can't it hear it again, but I will. Let's see if I can move this one. Finyomo, this is so chocolate. <laughs> Hello there. It looks like you have something on your mind. Oh, hey. I was just thinking it's almost Christmas. Unless that charge beam gets repaired soon, I'm going to miss it. What is this kissness? Kissness? It's Christmas, with an M. A day where we surfacers celebrate Christ's birth. Families meet up for dinner, and children get presents from Santa. You might get one if you were up there, too. I've no need for gifts. A captain must say no to such distractions. Despite saying that, I caught Finyamu's face lighting up for a brief moment. <laughs> so, who is this Santa person? He climbs down chimneys to give kids presents. Well, to be honest, he's fake. Parents just made him up so their children will act good. How horrible. A plot devised to brainwash young ones into behaving. Children are happy when they get presents. I see nothing wrong with that. Hmm... See? It's just a matter of perspective. Hmm. Still horrible. Okay. <laughs> okay, next up is uh, Mukan. I spotted Mukan in the dining room. She had her back turned to me with her helmet on the table. Looked like she was playing with her hair. She was using the porthole's glass as a mirror. I never imagined she would have a hobby of this sort. <laughs> Mukon styled her hair into ponytails before admiring and smiling at her reflection. Suddenly she put her hair back down and donned her helmet. Guess she must have noticed me. As I feared, she spun around with a displeased look on her face. Human. You make a habit out of sneaking up on people like that? Relax, I was just walking past. Maybe I should pluck your eyes out. That'd teach you. Yeah. That was more like the Mukan I knew. Uh -huh. Mean and threatening. I strode past a couple of aliens who were glued to a monitor. They must be really focused on their work. Crap, it's the human! Quick, fish tab, fish tab! <clears throat> and greetings. Come on, anyone can see you guys were hiding something. What? We... Alright, alright. Just keep this from Mukon, okay? She'll have our head if she finds out. Wow, you guys got nude photos of her or something? 
Nah, we were just checking out a couple of games we downloaded back home. Oh, relax, man. I've done that during work from time to time. Found any good games? We were just playing this one. It's called Unhack, or something. Unhack or something? Okay. Hmm, any good? Terrible. I'd rather do work. Good to hear, everyone. Back to work, then. Commander, right away. Quick, hand me those papers. I could have sworn Finyomu winked at me as she walked past. Guess this stuff was commonplace around here. <laughs> okay, on to Act 2. This should be interesting. You found anything? Looks like they have some machine back in that meeting room. It lets them spy on people from the surface. Really? Those scumbags. If they've let Joanna go, then leave her alone and stop stalking her. That's just wrong. Maybe we can use that machine to find Joanna. Gotta figure out how the machine works. I'll get back up to the top floor and spy on those aliens. Come with me, and then keep those aliens off my butt while I check out how they operate the controls. Despite Paul's confidence, I had my doubts. If the aliens caught us, we would likely be executed. We needed to warn Joanna, but I feared for my own life. I shook the thought from my head. If I allowed Joanna to be captured again, or worse, killed by the aliens, I would never be able to forgive myself. Okay, Paul. I'll keep him off your back. Let's head to that top floor. Okay, let's just see how this goes, shall we? Now, I already learned I can click on it without actually having to click on the monitor thing. That thing is for the aliens to disarm the thing. I can just go click, ding, go out, and then whip. But let's just see if I can get them to just... Oh, wow. Keep and keep, keep guards. Oh, 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 okay. Keep guards are what? Okay, huh? Oh, wait. Boop. There we go. No lights for you <laughs> Just gotta keep them away long enough for this crack. Yeah, crap. Come on, come on. Mission successful. Yes. <laughs> Time I ran out and I did it. Phew. Please tell me that's not the end of this. Uh, at least there's some Paul put up a hand to indicate he needed another five minutes. He had better be right. My luck was fast running out. Mm -hmm. A pair of aliens stepped out from the elevator and were walking in my direction. My heart pounded as their footsteps grew louder. It turned out it was Finyomu and Mukon. The two seated side by side at the dining table. I crouched behind a chair on the opposite side. Worried I was breathing too loud, I cupped both hands over my face. Binyomu and Mukon removed their helmets before facing each other. Never had I seen Mukon look so at ease. I thought she only knew how to scowl. Mukon, did you really have no opinion on the two surfacers? One person's thought means little. I am but a mere guard. Binyomu pouted at Mukon. Despite being a commander, it looked like she knew how to make some childish faces. <laughs> of course I want to hear what you think. You're my best friend, Mukon. Or do you not feel the same way? Please understand, Commander Finyomu. 
none of that commander stuff when we're alone. Finyomo, you mean the ocean to me. I'm unable to say anything that may oppose you. You want the two surfacers executed then? I fear the humans might try to escape. Sweat began to stain my palms. No surprise that Mukon wanted Paul and me dead. It's all water outside. The surfacers have no way of fleeing from here. You're probably right. My sole concern is the well-being of my people. Even if you chide me, I must insist that we at least raise our security. Finyomu rose from her seat. I thought she was going to smack Mukon. All Finyomu did, however, was give Mukon a hug before sitting back down. You've given up everything to be with me on this ship, Mukon. I'd never chide you. An enforcer like me is needed here. You're just far too kind-hearted to everyone. But that's okay. This is why I live to serve you. Please, never change who you are. You're so... so cute and perfect. <coughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. I only ask that you remember one thing. This ship exists to maintain peace between the surfacers and us. Lately, we seem to be forgetting that. Lost in their conversation, I had forgotten to keep an eye out for guards. Good thing nobody was around, or I no doubt would have been caught. I glanced to see if Paul was done, but he was nowhere to be found. Turned out he had already returned to the elevator. How he snuck past Vinyomu and Mukon without me knowing, well, that was Paul for you. I crawled under the chairs to join him on the elevator. Hopefully he had good news to report. Wow, and... Act 3. Well, as I said, let's hope we get 3 likes for the 3 bit e e e acts that I just did there. So we can get add another 3 in. And, or I'll just add another, or one, to the 3 e that I did. Mainly the intro. Ooh. Uh, actually, that's four right there. So just... Really? I had to add four on that, I guess. Intro, act one, act two, act three. But if you, you guys don't like it, it, it get, if I don't get three likes, it'll just be a, a, another one. Hopefully, it, 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 this will get you guys just to want to see a continuation. If not, I'm just going to keep doing this until I reach the end of the conclusionary issue, but only repeatedly until I have made it to where it's a freaking long video. Uh, th thanks again for you guys watching the video, if you actually watched it to the end. Uh, and hit that like button if you like the video. Also, I have a feeling me e either uh, me or Paul, uh, me as an Edward here, me, e Eddie, or Paul is going to die. I have no clue. Ooh, ooh, but usually it's the ones with the brute force that end up dying. I just hope I'm wrong. Anyways, let's just end it with uh, hit that like button to the stars and back in, mm -mm, my friends. And uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments about oh, my intro music. Was it good, spot on, or does it need, need something that isn't going to be supposedly copyright protected? Anyways, this is Johnny Wright saying, and see you guys later. Hope to at least get some more subscribers out of this, or at least some more likes out of the video. I am. I was surprised to see 18 comments. Yes, I allowed some spam comments, but hey, comments are comments anyhow. Oh, because so far at least there was some actual activity thanks to the Mr. Beast video, which thanks to certain people, and yes, I am actually a grateful for that. I just want to try and concentrate more on games, so... Ooh. Good. I hope to see you guys again and soon. And that will be e monitoring the chat section as usual. And if you haven't noticed, I've been liking your chats. That's in hit, 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 written by hit, hit, liking it, I mean hitting the heart button and replying sometimes to them. Now, th this is Johnny Wright saying thanks. See you guys. It's hopefully for Act, act 3. Either way, it, 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 Hopefully, Act 3 instead of the intro to Act 4, or, 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 or start or back, uh, intro to uh, start, uh, uh, start of intro, stop at Act 4. 
uh, 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 from act, and finish Act 3 to where Act 4 shows up. See you guys later.